Thanksgiving is around the corner, which means everyone is out rushing to get their last minute grocery shopping. I know because I am one of those people. Because BJ's is a wholesale place, I thought I would go there and do the majority of my Thanksgiving shopping there. I got around three fourths of my shopping list from BJ's and then the rest I think I'm gonna go to Aldi and get the rest of it. I have compiled my grocery list based on the menu that I have come up with for Thanksgiving this year. I'm not hosting a massive Thanksgiving, but it is the first one that I am hosting in my brand new apartment, so I'm super excited to whip up some delicious goodies. On the menu, we have autumn deviled eggs. What I mean by autumn deviled eggs is I saw a picture of deviled eggs where the yolk looked a little orange from like paprika. Then they take a fork, put little stripes on it to make it look like a pumpkin, and then they take half of a little pickle of a little gherkin and you put it on top. So it basically looks like the yolk is a pumpkin. Then we have honey glazed carrots, traditional green bean casserole, mac and cheese. Obviously, if I'm not gonna have Thanksgiving without mac and cheese. Baked brie cups. Basically, I'm gonna take some puff pastry, I'm gonna put some brie into each one, and I'm gonna add like an apricot jam and some walnuts into it. Now the mains. I'm going to do a nice turkey, and it's gonna be citrus glazed, which is basically stuffing it with a lot of oranges, with a lot of citrus fruit, and I even pour orange juice into the pan and base it with orange juice, and it becomes super delicious, super crispy, and, and it has like a nice sweetness to it. For dessert, I decided to go a traditional route with some apple pie. We have a French-inspired apple cake and some maple pecan cookies. Pecan, pecan, let me know in the comments below which way you say it. So again, today is the grocery haul that I have done for this menu. I will be making a separate video on how I'm decorating for Thanksgiving, all the food that I am cooking, and even recipes if you guys are interested in that. So let's dive into my groceries. For the green bean casserole, I found this big bag of crispy fried onions. Now the reason I bought so much, which is almost two pounds worth when I only need a little bit, is because in my local grocery store, I tend to buy a small, I don't remember if it was eight ounces or 12 ounce container for around like $4. And then this whole big thing was $7. And I was like, you know what? Why not? Maybe I can add it to some other stuff besides a green bean casserole. Oh, and maybe I can just snack on it like chips. I don't know. For my pecan or pecan maple cookies, I bought pecans. And let me tell you, why are pecans so expensive? My goodness, out of all nuts that I have bought in the past, these are so expensive. Like this alone was like $17. But I do need a good amount. And plus like when I make salads and stuff, I'll just, you know, crushing in. I bought a box of cilantro because I personally love cilantro and I like to use it as a garnish for stuff, you know, hashtag garnish gals, I don't know, whatever. We got a bag of onions because we like onions. I have, oh, this is heavy. I, um, since I'm making an apple cake and apple pie, I decided to use Fuji apples because the last time I made this apple cake, it tasted so much better with these apples than Granny Smith apples. And I know traditionally, oh my God, it's heavy. Traditionally, Granny Smith is also used for apple pie, but sometimes I make oatmeal and make like an apple pie inspired oatmeal, which is cutting up the apples, cooking it separately and putting it on the oatmeal. And I like it a lot better with these apples. So I got five pounds worth and I believe there's nine apples in there, which is good. Cause for the apple cake, I only need like two or three. And for the apple pie, I need maybe like six. Now I want you guys to know, I like making things from scratch. A lot of times when I host a Thanksgiving, I would make pie crust from scratch. I even made bread from scratch, garlic knots from scratch. But the thing is this year, you know, uh, timing is a little tough because I work the previous day and I also work on Friday. So I can't really be like spending too much time. Wednesday, I'm only gonna come home at like 7 p.m. and I'm gonna try to do all my baking and prepping <laughs> at that time. So don't feel guilty when you buy already um, peeled garlic. I will be needing a lot of garlic. I love garlic. My family loves garlic, yay garlic. I just bought the peeled version already just to save me that time. Speaking of saving time, like I said, this year I'm not making my own pie crust. I just don't have the time. So I did buy the Pillsbury pie crust. And what's nice about BJ's, again, it's wholesale. So instead of just one box that has two crusts, I have two boxes. And I might do something with the other pie crust. I don't know, maybe like a chicken pot pie with leftovers. I don't know, we'll see but I'm glad I got this, even though I really enjoy making pie crust from scratch. The next thing I have here are shelled walnuts. Again, I'm gonna be using these walnuts, walnuts? <laughs> I'm gonna be using these walnuts for my baked brie cups. And again, 
puff pastry I'm gonna put in a muffin tin to make it shaped like a cup. I'm gonna put some brie in the center. I'm gonna put a spoonful of, again, you can use whatever jam you want. I'm craving for some reason an apricot jam versus like cranberry sauce or something. So I'm gonna put apricot jam in there and I'm gonna crumble up some walnuts on top for some texture and then I'm just gonna bake it in the oven. So I have my walnuts for that. Since I'm doing a lot of baking, I don't wanna pick this up, but you know, let's do it. Ooh, I got a 10 pound bag of sugar. That's all I'm gonna say. For my honey glazed carrots, they, that sounds exactly how it sounds. It sounds exactly how it sounds. Yeah, I think that makes sense. I'm using baby carrots, and all I have to do with these baby carrots is I'm gonna boil them until they're like a little on the softer side, and then I cook them in some butter, in honey, a little bit of brown sugar, and just between you and me, add a little bit of vanilla extract to it because it just enhances the carrots so much. It's so good. I only recently learned this recipe and I tweaked it a little bit and I've been making it almost every single week this fall. Cucumbers, because we need some freshness on the table. Okay, going back to green bean casserole. I got, again, to save some time, I got snipped green beans because usually what I do is I'll buy green beans and I'll stand and, you know, snip the ends of them. I'll chop off the ends. And that, that, that takes a minute. So I got two bags of these. These are even microwavable. They're washed and ready to use. So there we go. Two points for convenience. Now this, oh, ha, wait. This is open already. I didn't buy this. I didn't add this to the cart. My husband actually did. These are chocolate rubla, and it's already open. Look at that. Might as well have one. So instead of just regular bread or getting I don't know, regular bread rolls, like dinner rolls. I decided to try these out. So these are savory garlic knots, hand tied. Um, they say all you have to do, ooh, all you have to do is thaw them for a little bit so they were in the freezer and bake them for around 10 minutes in the oven. Try that out. We'll give it a taste. Garlic knots. Told you, garlic, love garlic, man. Now how can you have mac and cheese without the cheese? Side note, they didn't have all the cheese that I needed. What I like for mac and cheese is this big hunk here is sharp yellow cheddar. This is the one that I use. It gives that nice orange color to your cheese. It's very sharp, which I like. I also, for the smokiness and for the richness, I like adding Gruyere. Unfortunately, I didn't see any in BJ's, so maybe I'll go get it at Aldi or my other store. But now the secret that I discovered that tastes so good in mac and cheese is pepper jack. Now, I don't add a lot of pepper jack because it might overpower it, overpower the mac and cheese, because it is a little spicy because they add jalapenos to it and whatever. And to my family members who are watching this, who don't like spicy food, don't worry, it's not gonna be that spicy, don't worry about it. But it just adds like an, another layer of flavor that you didn't know can, you can accomplish. So next time you make mac and cheese, I highly recommend add a bit of pepper jack to it. You'll notice that it adds just another like boom of flavor. For the brie cups, I have this brie that I have bought. One of my favorite things is a baked brie. I personally never made a baked brie. I usually rely on my aunt or another family member who usually makes baked brie's and I just eat half of it. If you can't tell, I love cheese. Again, these are for the baked brie cups. I'm gonna put a piece of this brie into each cup with whatever flavor of jam you want and my walnuts. So again, I didn't get to do 100% of my shopping list at BJ's. I understand because, oh my God, it was so crowded there today. I'll go shopping again maybe tomorrow, get the rest of the things that I need. Wednesday, I'm gonna start all of my baking. Uh, you make the cookies, the cake, the pie, all in one day. Because again, you, you only have one oven, so I'm trying to like plan things out accordingly. So as a recap, I have my autumn deviled eggs, honey glazed carrots, green bean casserole, mac and cheese, baked brie cups, citrus glazed turkey, apple cake, apple pie, and maple pecan cookies. And quick question, your mac and cheese, do you prefer the breadcrumb topping or do you like it without the breadcrumb topping? Throughout the years, I've done both. I've had it without, I've had it with, and Honestly, I've been leaning towards the breadcrumb option because I just like that extra texture that it brings. So this was just a mini BJ's haul for Thanksgiving. Again, I will be making a follow-up video about 
my decorating, the cooking, and basically the final end product of my Thanksgiving this year. I would love to know about what you guys are cooking for Thanksgiving, what you guys are doing, if you're not cooking, where you're going, what your plans are, I would love to hear it, so leave a comment down below. If you enjoy these videos or any other kinds of grocery hauls and want to see me do other ones like Trader Joe's and other companies, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button because I will be doing those very soon. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one.